Hey guys, hope everybody is doing well this fine day. I'm back with another weekly. This one, I'm not gonna lie, I was getting farted on. Uh, I was having a rough time. Let me let me show you my history real quick. L, two wins. I lost on round eight. I was trying to get the starfish to work. No, that wasn't happening. Another L, four wins. We had two poodles and I lost. That was crazy. I cannot believe I lost this one. This one, this one I was so excited for. Everyone was just too Chunky. Like my snipes from my frog were not enough. My fly catcher. It just none, none of it was enough. Let's get into it. I needed to get some wins under my belt. So I'm like, I may not be a big fan of the ferret, but having that tennis ball in the early rounds pretty much guarantees, I feel like, a, at least a draw in the early rounds. So that's the reason I picked it up. And then I grabbed a groundhog and I grabbed an ant. Just trying to just trying to guarantee, you know, at least a draw. If I could get a draw, I would be more than happy. And we end up being the loose muffins. And I actually managed to get a dub. And I did I did save these two mice, because these mice, I can level them up and then when I sell them I get that free apple which is always extremely nice my my tennis ball wasn't very useful there I actually do manage to lose but at, at this point I was so numb to losing it did not even phase me Round three, my tennis ball is up but we do get a new fair I grab everything grab some more tennis balls you know if I'm gra if I'm grabbing a tennis ball that means I'm desperate we have so many potential level ups next round we are looking very nice now we do we do lose another round early sadly but that's okay next round we level up our mouse and up until this point I really wanted to make a flycatcher build work it wasn't happening I don't know if I'm just buns but I wanted a flycatcher and a honey bear build to work where my honey bear is at the front it dies it it gives the opponent a honey and then my flycatcher will just start sniping everyone 14 beaver a 7-5 look everything's no. everything all those stats Everything, all, all these pigs get summoned. My flycatcher wipes out the whole squad. I was so hype. I wish I was recording. Yeah, another level up. There's the honey bear. I did not go for it. And there's another level up for the next round. Make sure to throw my weasel up front so I get the gold. He did well. And we actually managed to get another dub. That's two dubs on the board. And my tennis ball is out, but that's okay. I get a level up, and I get the parrot. The reason I, the reason I went for the parrot this time is because there's a lot of versatility in a parrot. Like, uh, the parrot can go with a lot of different builds. I still didn't know what I wanted to do at this point. Like, the fact that nothing was working prior to this, I I thought to myself, let's just, let's just grab whatever looks appealing in the store at the time. How does that sound? <laughs> if I ever wanted to pivot to something, I feel like a parrot would probably just make that build better. And if I had something on the team that I would want to keep till the end game, it'd be nice to start buffing a pet. I buff my parrot. That 2-2, two -two, that's a 6-4 parrot already. And I give him a cucumber. And we get a puppy so I can get some lasagna in a couple of rounds. That's always nice. Maybe I should have copied the ferret. Oh, we do lose this. Going down to three hearts. That's okay, we get another ferret. But, uh, we skip. I just did it for the level up. I get that crow in, sell him right away. I want to level up this parrot as quick as possible. And the pets that I'm going to be keeping, I want to buff. I saw that pill in the flamingo in the store. I thought it was too good to pass up. I could have saved it for next round, but I did want to find another pill. I did want to. I did want to pill that ant. I'll always take a draw. Are you kidding me? Let me get our free lasagna. Give that to the parrot. The only thing I care about right now is buffing the parrot. At this point, I didn't mind if it hit the ferret or the parrot, but the fact that it hit the parrot off, oh, I was over the moon, dude. I'm gonna save that level up for. An oh, what? never mind. I went right for it. This was a pretty early chicken. And a light bulb just went off in my head. I gotta, I gotta try. I had three hearts right now. I had two wins. So like there was still a lot more to the game. I wanted to give the chicken a go. So I sell my beaver and my duck. Give the chicken a couple, a little more stats. And we actually throw the chicken in there ASAP. With the, with, oh. I sold my dog to get another parrot in there so I could scale as quick as possible. We have the level 2 parrot behind the chicken, so if this chicken faints, 
I get plus one plus one to this sh to the shop if this parrot faints I get plus two plus two so that's plus three plus three so far and then if this parrot faints in total I'll get plus four plus four so I was, I was feeling good right now I was feeling pretty good I still had a couple of lives to work with so my whole build is about my team dying and we actually lose that round and so at this point I was thinking uh did I make a mistake <laughs> should I really be scaling my shop right now but then I see another weasel I, I'm like screw it I gotta keep going and then another weasel I was I was feeling real confident at this point those are some nice starting stats on those weasels this time I prioritized the chicken dying over the weasel dying even though it would be nice to have that money I wanted to level up my shop like as soon as possible so I wanted to make sure those chickens died and they they died pretty easily and we managed to tie every time we tie with this build that's a great time all right then we give our carrot to the parrot and we found another chicken this team right here would have been a and i got another tie oh that's great that is great for me i got plus i got plus three gold i got all my chicken stats and right after this i get a crow so i can level up my chicken so now if these guys die i get plus four plus four i was hoping to get a weasel but sadly i did not and then i get chicken weasel weasel i am so glad that i went chicken weasel this game I'm not gonna lie, these guys, these guys are the goats. So obviously we throw in the chicken and we throw in a weasel. So now if those, if these three die, I get plus five, plus five. Our shop is already looking nice and juicy. At this point, I could, I feel like I could stop greeting. Um... <laughs> But come on, guys. We can't stop here. Hello? We gotta keep going. So we get our level 3 weasel. And we're looking to get a level 3 parrot. At this point, I just grabbed the pet because I, I wanted to make sure I didn't lose. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All of our chickens died, that's beautiful. Our ferret didn't, or our weasel didn't die, but that's okay. More chocolate. Look at this team now. So if, if all of these were to die, I don't, I don't really care about the weasel at the moment, but if everyone dies here, we had two, four, six. Six, six to the shop. Which, and we find a chocolate. If I was super greeting, I feel like I could have sold the weasel. Would I have, would I have won this round though? Oh no. Yeah, I, d I don't even win this round. So, you know what? It wouldn't have been the worst thing if I combined those. I would have had extra 1-1. One, one. Look at the shop right now. It is looking real nice. And and since I lost that round, I was feeling a little... I was a little scared. So I decided to throw in the lionfish. And the reason why I haven't leveled this up to level 3 is because I've been hoping to find a parrot so I could buff the crap out of his stats. But I cannot seem to find one. So I, I could have just given him the chocolate, uh, but then he'll be forever like a 20, 23. I, he'll he'll be he'll be scaling with his carrot, but that you know I feel like that's not enough. So I give the chocolate to my lionfish. And all of our chickens die. That's what we like to see. We're on five wins now, and there we go. I find a parrot. And then, my shop was looking really nice right now. I don't really need the chickens that much anymore. I could have sold that last chicken. Actually, I don't know why I didn't. Maybe just some last minute chicken buffs. I was feeling real confident with th these two tigers on the team now. Look at all of those! <gasps> the machine gun lionfish. Now we get a level 2 lionfish. I, I skipped out on a warthog to get grab this warthog. That was <laughs> that was a bit of a misplay by my on my part, but you know, that's okay. We got there in the end. I wanted to get a fourth tiger. I just wanted to have one lionfish in the front and then four tigers. That was the original plan. Once I saw two tigers in the shop. But, you know, I thought base a base that a 48 45 warthog in the shop i feel like that's kind of hard to pass up on so uh, that was my new strat 
I get the Warthog in and try to level him up. At this point, my confidence was through the roof. I thought, I was thinking there's no way any team, look at this team, this team is, this team probably would have beat me in my other runs, I'm not gonna lie, but, those guys got absolutely farted on, and that is seven wins, and now I'm just looking for level ups, or equipment, and I just grab a pretzel to buff up my lionfish a little bit. I, I like this team, but there's no way. Like I, I tried to have a vulture team earlier, but there's there's no way. There's no. What are they supposed to do? My team is just too big, even without my my pet's abilities. Wait, why didn't I give that to the warthog? Meh. That's okay. Like even if you kill my lionfish. You're just, you're dead. Like, you're f <laughs> and if you do manage to get past my lionfish, past all the snipes, I still have these massive tigers just chilling. And that's up to nine wins. We do get the level two warthog, and then now I'm just going for level two tigers to make this build even more broken than it currently is. This team was looking like some nice stats, but but <laughs> the lionfish is just. He's too good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was a this was a tough weekly for me, I'm not gonna lie. But I hope everyone has a wonderful day.